During my time reporting on the ground in Michigan, I've been able to see the election play out where it matters the most and witness both campaigns make their case to the country's most decisive voters. In my opinion, there's no substitute for watching the campaign play out before your very eyes. Back in July, for example, I went to President Biden's rally in Detroit, which was one of his final appearances as a candidate. What was fascinating was that none of the prominent Democrats I'd been covering bothered to even come out and support him. This was at a time when his campaign was in dire straits after his disastrous debate performance. From that moment on, I personally knew that the Biden campaign was effectively disbanded and that there was slim chance of him making it to a second term. If you spend time in the swing states, you're able to pick up on these subtle cues which tell you what the state of the race is. Oftentimes before the people who, say, are sequestered in the East Coast. There's also no substitute for actually speaking with members of the key voting blocks. Here in Michigan, I spoke with tons of people. Auto workers upset with Biden-Harris admission regulations, Arab Americans who were up in arms over the war in Gaza. It took a lot of legwork to speak with these people, but once I did, they were able to explain the issues better than any so-called expert from the East Coast could have. What I saw from speaking with Michigan voters was a sense of broad dissatisfaction with the Biden-Harris administration. While Trump supporters tended to be very passionate about their support for him, I never once met a passionate Kamala Harris fan, even when I spoke with the young progressives on the University of Michigan campus. To me, Michigan is a fascinating state. It's massive, for one thing. It's urban, it's rural, and it's diverse. There's millions of voters out here whose individual decisions on election day determined who entered the White House. It was often difficult speaking to these voters. Trump supporters, for one thing, are sometimes reluctant to air their views publicly. And almost everyone is afraid of having their words printed in one of the nation's largest newspapers. But each time I was able to speak with a real voter, it made it worthwhile for me to be here on the ground in Michigan.